What's up, guys? Nolan here, and today we're sweeping through all of the little bits and pieces of changes and news from the past few days in Escape from Tarkov. First things first, the queues are essentially gone right now. You might see 200 and maybe a couple thousand people at most in a queue, which you do tend to go through really quickly. The last four times that I've logged in, I've had practically no queue, but I did get the one person bug. Sometimes you get stuck on one person, which if you just restart the launcher, it should let you through. It's totally possible that there's some regions and servers around the world that are still long queues, but I did a loop around Twitch and asked the Discord. Apart from that one person queue thing, I have haven't seen any issues. We'll see what happens this weekend if the numbers go back up. Lighthouse loot overall was turned down a notch, but it absolutely is still good, especially if you get a couple friends together and farm the rogues. The best loot isn't necessarily on the rogues themselves unless you need the gear. It's in the buildings and high value loot spawns in the water treatment plant. If you didn't notice, there is a green battery craft in the hideout now if you have workbench 2 built. You'll need these green batteries for the rest base 3, and they're pretty tough to come by. Technical supply crates and filing cabinets are where I get mine, but they can be found in sport bags and dead scavs as well. A lot of people are reporting getting dropped by scavs shooting m61 i'm not sure if this is intentional seeing as bsg removed the ability for scavs to spawn with m61 a while back it's possible there was an error with a recent patch but maybe they wanted to add them for easier access to the rounds i'm not sure but they are extremely deadly so keep an eye out or keep your ears open for the sound of 308 guns on scav spawns because they're cheeky with those things however if you do prepare and play your angles correctly it is a nice bit of extra loot especially if you like running 308 guns i have a theory that bsg are intentionally cranking up the higher tier loot on scavs and AI in general, where they might have turned it down a bit at the beginning of the wipe in order to help the economy stay lower for a while, because that was one of their goals this wipe, they wanted to extend the early game. I have no proof of this, but it is just a hunch scene as it looks like we're getting better stuff and they do seem to be shooting higher tier ammo more often. Be on the lookout for high tier stuff and let me know if you find anything that's been removed from the flea on scavs or more than usual on the tougher AI like raiders and bodyguards. These changes were spread out over the last few days, so I'd like to to remind everyone i don't make a whole video off of one small change to the game there needs to be something pretty significant to post about it that's why joining the discord or following me on twitter is the best for absolute breaking news and the full story is sometimes i just don't post about the small stuff but i do tell the discord or tweet about it no date from bsg on the dev cast yet but nikita said that they needed a week or two just five days ago the majority of bsg are likely still on holiday break as they celebrate a christmas on the 7th of january i don't expect much until this weekend in fact they could just end up dropping it on us so as always i'll keep an eye out unless you guys know Know more once I do. Until then, though, for the latest Tarkov news, check out these playlists here. If you like this video, then you know the drill. Please subscribe. I really appreciate the people who do, especially since we're so close to 100k. If you're looking for people to play with, check out our Discord. Links in the description if you're interested. Otherwise, hope you have a nice day. See you guys.